great gaming fidelity models, it's approximately two to three months uh, of a life cycle. Sometimes that can go a little bit longer if there's delays, but that includes the source gathering, the actual modeling of the geometry, the texture mapping, the LOD process, the QA process, customer reviews, and then integration. Well, the first step is collecting reference, uh, getting the material that you need in order to build the 3D models. Uh, we begin by either receiving it from our customer or doing a little bit of research on our own to find the most useful photos that will help us build an accurate model that uh, is also technically acceptable. Right now I'm just trying to extrude shapes uh, out of more basic shapes, cylinders, cubes, um, and then we'll extract the triangles from there and make whatever shapes we need for the smoke grenade launchers or weapon platform or whatever shape it is that we're trying to make. So texturing is the process of kind of getting the final look development on a, um, for instance, vehicle such as what we're showing here today. It begins with the process of basically skinning the model and laying it out in a 2D format to take the 3D information and be able to paint or put on your details in the vehicle for the final look. When the model is complete, it needs to function. Otherwise, it's just it's just an object. So integration is basically taking the model and making it function as if it does in the real world. Simulation modeling needs to be built for training purposes, but not identical to the real world. We try to make them as detailed as possible, as photorealistic as possible, in order to keep the realism. But it does not have to match the actual vehicle. That in increases the time significantly if we were to do it that way.